a binary operation. Let me call it op for easier purposes on a set of integers is defined as x op y is equal to x square plus y square. Look at it this way. x op y actually means anything to the left of op you make it an x square. Anything to the right of op you make it a y square and you add both of them. What we need to check is whether this binary operation op is commutative or associative or neither or both of them. So let's start off with commutative. Commutative actually means x op y equal to y op x. Now let's check whether this condition holds true. Now x op y is nothing but x square plus y square. Similarly y op x is nothing but y square plus x square. Now we all know addition is a commutative property, commutative operation. For example, 1 plus 2 is always equal to 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. Hence, we know this is a commutative property and hence this is equal to each other. And hence, the operation is commutative. Now, let's check whether it is associative or not. Now, associative property states that x op y opposite is equal to x op y opposite. Now, let's check whether this actually holds true or not. Let's begin. x op y is nothing but x square plus y square. The whole op z. Now be very careful while solving this equation. Most of the students make a mistake in this step and lose out on the precious one mark of this question. Now recall what I said in the very beginning. Anything to the left of op has to be squared. So x square plus y square the whole square plus z square. And how did I get z square? Anything to the right of op, the whole square, and we add both of them together. Similarly, on the right hand side, I get x square plus y square plus z square, the whole square. The blunder that students make is this. They forget the whole square in both the LHS and the RHS due to which they feel that the property of associativity holds true. But actually that's not the case because on the LHS x square the whole square actually becomes x to the power 4 while on the right hand side it remains x square itself. And hence this voids the associativity property and hence this operator is not associative. And hence the answer is A that is commutative but not associative.